also, uh, I know I talk about the uh, four horsemen a lot, but when when you think about it in the terms of now, if if like because I, I know most people are having these feelings that the uh, that the world's about to end or whatever, everyone a lot a lot of people are going to die. Um, like in the when it says and then talks about the four horsemen in the apocalypse like the first one's the conqueror right he comes in and he uh he's the best at everything right and being the leader uh of the, the four i guess you'd say um he he chooses them right which you can see i've made videos before that show like obama chose joe biden to be the next president and he chose Donald Trump to be uh, president for him. Um, so, like, when you think about it in terms of what they do, right? Uh, like, so the first one conquers, right? So Obama, Barack Obama, became the best president ever, I guess you'd say. Well, you know, he like changed a bunch of things around. He made, he became very uh, trustworthy to a lot of people. He came and he conquered. And everyone since him has been a shit show, right? And it's scripted that way, whatever. Like, you know, don't get upset at anything I say if you like one of these creatures. Um, so the second one, the one that rides a red horse, causes civil war, right? He causes uh, strife. So uh, drama, pretty much. Uh, he causes everybody to hate each other. He causes people to join his cause, which is completely made up, and to go against um, pretty much everything else, right? A lot like anybody who has uh, joined his cause, so to speak, um, doesn't believe that anybody else could be president and believes that Donald Trump would be the greatest president who ever li lived. And, uh, you know, I'm not even American, like, so whatever. Like, I have no real opinion on these people. I know that they're not real people. Um, so he causes that, right? And if you if you re recognize, before he became president, he started talking shit about uh, you know Democrats, Hillary Clinton, uh, his deep state, uh, hidden government, controlling all things, all everything's fake news. You know what I mean? Like he literally came in with a red hat on, and he started talking shit about everything. Everything that has just been the establishment beforehand, right? And that's pretty much the description of the second horseman. Now the third one brings famine, right? So if these are presidents in a row, right? And it will be the first one's Barack Obama, the second one is Donald Trump, the third one is Joe Biden, right? So, the, the one that rides the black horse, the third horseman, right? He's like that, but he's not dead. So the, the third horseman causes famine, right? Now, if you remember the wording of, of this part of the Bible, <coughs> The fourth horseman is the first horseman, but dead, right? That doesn't necessarily mean he's physically dead, like not breathing non-responsive, because that doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, these characters, if you've seen how they really look, like if you watch my videos, you've seen like, you know, Biden's true face or 
you know, the reptilian eyes of, of Donald Trump or literally like the, you know, draconian shape-shifting hands of Barack Obama and his invisible face and all that stuff. Like it's all, they're non-human to begin with. Most likely they're like jinn of the, like how it's explained in the Quran, how they're created with uh, uh, elements like fire, and water, and earth, and wind, and stuff like that. Either they're jinn, right? Or it's something even, even darker, which is like, uh, like a vampire, right? Uh, possession of a recently dead human. Um, either way, it doesn't matter because Barack Obama is dead, right? He's like Pepsi, is dead. Um, so he's going to be the fourth because he was first, right? And it says that the fourth horseman then has the power to kill with war, like the sword, with famine, and with death, right? So, so the fact that Donald Trump is the second horseman fits in perfectly because he didn't really like start war or like, you know, didn't really start a civil war where people are killing each other. He just started the, uh, the illusion or the, started the, the ball rolling on the whole civil war thing. Like, and, uh, and Joe Biden, he started the famine, see? Uh, he's not killing with famine. Like, nobody's really starving to death. Everyone's hurting. It's hard to keep up like we used to. But then, the fourth horseman kills with these things, okay? So it's almost like as time progresses, whatever happens, happens. Like, either the third horseman is going to actually die like you know whatever publicly it's he's gonna they're gonna say he's dead you know uh, so joe biden will die maybe even kamala harris will die also in like a plane crash you know uh might not even be because of old age that joe biden dies but either way whatever happens is gonna happen and then it's gonna lead to the crowning of the fourth horseman right um you know, so like time is progressing, like all the things that the first, second, and third horsemen created, the fourth horseman then kills with it. So it's like as time progresses, these these things that they started just get worse and worse and worse, right? Like um, the price of food goes up exponentially to the point where people are literally starving to death in the streets. Now that will be fulfillment of prophecy, right? And uh, people killing each other with sword. Well, that's happening, you know, like guns are swords, right? Um, but yeah, it's gonna get way worse, way, way worse, right? You can see it getting worse, like even this year, right? Next year, think about it. 